Hi, welcome to another episode of Acting Side in the Kitchen. My name is, of course, Kent Altena, and this week we're going to be making another ongoing weight loss friendly recipe called um, sugar free peanut butter cookies. So come along with me as we cook it up low carb style. So, first things first, we're going to put a cup of natural sugar free peanut butter in there. into my measuring cup. There are a number of good brands of sugar-free peanut butter. I'm using Smuckers, but then again, uh, the Target brand is just as good. Uh, most of the natural peanut butters will be sugar-free, but read the labels because there are some out there like Jeff and Skippy uh, that may claim to be natural peanut butter, but they put sugar in them as well. All right. All right, to this, we're going to add three tablespoons of a granulated sweetener. I'm going to be using granulated Splenda, but you very well could be using Truvia or Stevia extract um, in, the, in the raw is also good. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. All right, now we're gonna mix these uh, three ingredients together. Now there's some discussion on the low carb forums or the Atkins diet forums on where on the Atkins diet should you be eating peanut butter or peanuts. Are they a legume or are they nuts? Well, on the new Atkins diet and the book New Atkins and New You, uh, is class, peanuts are classified as a legume or a bean. Uh, on the original Atkins Diet, new, Dr. Atkins' New Diet Revolution book, they were classified as a nut. So whether or not you're uh, following the old plan or the new plan determines at what phase of the diet or at what phase of the ongoing weight loss um, can you re-add the uh, peanut butter into your diet. All right, now that these are creamed together, I'm going to add one egg. We're going to mix that together. Okay, at this point we want to scrape down our sides just to make sure everything gets well incorporated together. If your peanut butter does not include salt into the ingredients label, you might want to include maybe a half a teaspoon of salt into this recipe, but because Smucker's does include salt, uh, we're not going to be adding any salt this time. All right, to this we're going to add a half a cup of almond flour. and a half teaspoon of baking soda for some leavening. One final mix. The reason for the almond flour is so that the cookies stay together and they, and they aren't quite as br um, brittle or fragile as some of the original recipes which did not include the almond flour. There's also peanut flour on the marketplace if you have the capabilities of purchasing it or you want to see if you don't want the almond texture in, in with your peanut butter cookies, you can feel free to use the peanut flour as well. All right, welcome back. I have my oven preheated at 325 degrees and watch me while I um, portion out the cookies. Basically, you want to take a one inch ball and roll it out, give it a good pat. These won't spread out that much uh, like other cookies might. Uh -huh. 
momento ball, and then give them a slight smush. You'll also notice that I'm using parchment paper, and that's to prevent the cookies, obviously, from sticking to the sheet pan. We're going to bake the cookies for about 10 to 12 minutes. Roll and smush. All right, here's my last cookie. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll show you the finished product and some photos after the ingredients. And talk to you guys later. Bye.